monk seal sighting on my beach. <laughs> Good morning, world. <laughs> I feel very inspired to share with you something that I've been going through and I think a lot of people have when things just don't seem right and they're off and you don't know what to do well here's what I do I come to this beautiful place um, and it's nature nature reinvigorates you in a way that nothing else can and it just when you don't know what to do and you don't know where to go and you don't even know what to think that's what can really make your life be a hundred percent better um, now people have told me oh you're so lucky to be in Hawaii you know what I made it happen there's a lot of other choices you can make you can live in places that you don't like and go to jobs you don't like and um, I had to decide not to do that and I did so I'm encouraging people myself included to say no to the stuff that doesn't work for you anymore and yeah it does take courage courage takes practice and I'm here to tell you that living two miles from this beach has changed my life and I want to give a shout out to all the people that changed their lives in a huge way. Uh, Mary Jo, I'm thinking about you. Other people I know that have come forward and told me that they picked up their lives and came here. Just like all of us did. I'm going to move. The light isn't quite right. <laughs> Alrighty then. So back to when... Uh, when you're struggling and don't know where to go first off nature second just let yourself be open to what you're gonna hear rather than uh, forcing things to happen which took me a long time to learn and I'm still learning it because um, I like to take risks and make things be the way I want them to and I think a lot of people do um, but when you're in a place of not knowing where you are inside because outside is a reflection of inside work on your inside I mean maybe work is too strong of a word but let yourself have that uncomfortable feeling I've been uncomfortable a lot <laughs> so I am qualified to say awkward uh, not having enough pillows you know um that's where the real stuff happens where something is just not to your liking and uh, you don't know how to change it so you can actually just sit with that and be in your place of letting the answer come um, instead of trying to make it come so and listen I've been doing that a little bit to myself lately and I try to catch myself so the thing is and it might be so many things um, all of a sudden you might realize that the work you're doing is not what you want to be doing the tribe you're in is not the one you want to be in and uh, listen to that because it's like a snake shedding you uh, go on to different things even though you don't know what they are um, and you get to a better place even if it feels awkward and uncomfortable at the time that you're doing it I'm sure a snake isn't loving coming out of its uh, shell <laughs> so I Billy Wilder the famous director um, from I think he was in the 40s said creativity is not comfortable something like that and I heard that a long time ago and I I really resonated with that and I think we all can because 
yeah, you push, you push and push, and then all of a sudden you get to this place where maybe you don't even have to push anymore, and you just let yourself experience what you're experiencing at the time. Does that make sense? I didn't quite know what I was going to say today, but I, I just wanted to encourage people to, when, when we know there's something really big happening where we want to change things, to let it happen because that's how our lives change even though it's not this blueprint of you know you see all these blueprints on how to make your business successful there's not really a blueprint for the life that you're unfolding minute by minute everything changes every day so get with that because I, I've seen in my own life that flexibility is key because you might have to pivot <laughs> real fast and it's better if you do. Oftentimes things are not how I thought they would be and it requires pivoting and I know that's a term now that's used in uh, business but it's true. It's it's pivoting on a dime to being open to whatever it is that you didn't even know about because you couldn't even have thought how that particular incident would go, how that person would uh, interact with you. Like, I met a beautiful friend in the water the other day. I mean, right here. Who would have thought? Um, that you'd meet a friend swimming. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't know her before, and we just started talking. We're both writers, and we're going to see each other next week. And I'm so happy about, instead of just going out there and going, I'm going to do my swim. I saw them, and I felt her and her partner, and I felt a connection. So, trust your gut. Again, when you feel a connection, don't analyze it. And listen, I'm a big analyzer myself. But I'm trying to drop it. I'm trying to drop it and just be uncomfortable more often <laughs> so that it gets you to a different place. Because what I've seen about being uncomfortable is it always, I can't even think of a time that it didn't, it always takes you to a different place that you weren't willing to go because you wouldn't have knowingly wanted to. Because it's uncomfortable. So to wrap this up if you're feeling like you just don't know what direction to go and let yourself feel that and then allow it to just open up and bloom to a place that you don't know when it's going to happen it might be at the beach hey get to the beach get to the mountains get to a place where you don't have your to-do list and things will unfold in a way that you had no idea they would and hey, um, thank you for the sharing, the commenting, the liking, and uh, I appreciate that. So uh, let me know if you knew uh, if you need coaching or counseling. I am available, and I'm going to be setting up a uh, a live stream really soon so you could um, interact with me that way too here on YouTube so have a beautiful day and I'll see you in the next video namaste and many blessings <laughs>